Looky, looky. He's finally lit the smoker. <laughs> yeah, you might be, might be wondering, does this guy ever get into bees, man? Okay, class is in session. Here we go. Dates uh, May 28th, 12 o'clock, straight up Central Standard Time. Welcome to Little Creek Bee Ranch. It's graduation day. Yay. Graduation day. Uh, that little box right there, that nuke, those girls get to go to their big girl box today. Uh, so I'll, kind of a basic lesson, nothing advanced, no, no AP Vox work, just basic transfer. A lot of new beekeepers in the advisory program ask a lot of these questions. So this is going to be a good training video, I hope. We'll see how they do. So on the back of the box, on the back of that nuke box, the date says uh, April 28th. <gasps> it's exactly the day to the day. Well, that would just worked out that way. It wasn't planned. So they've been in that nuke box exactly a month. Huh. Wonder how they've done. Don't know. You know, that's the thing is we don't know until we get in. They might have already swarmed. It was a swarm we caught, but it's so wet. This is like the perfect weather for bees. Swarms are swarming. And if you're not careful, you just get all emotionally panicked and freaked out. You just roll with the bees, man. Depends upon what they give you. What will the bees give me today? That's the ticket. What will the bees give me today? So I'm gonna move you back and forth and around at different angles. Hang tough. Just kind of watch my deal. This is probably about the only chore I'll do today because I don't feel so great. Sinus garbage, still fighting it. Taking vitamin C and airborne and all kinds of good stuff. Okay, so this is a nuke. It has a screen in the bottom. I don't wanna ever smoke under the screen. Don't ever smoke under the screen. Just smoke the porch. A couple of good puffs on the porch. And give them a few minutes. Pick some grass. Uh, you know, it's time to weed eat. <laughs> it just never ends. Still looking for that perfect grass management system. Yeah, it's okay. That's the least of my concerns right now. If you can see, let's see, get myself squared away here. I think the big box to the left, we're gonna break that down. I wanna take you all the way around. The oh, let me get you squared up where I want you. <laughs> Maybe that'll work. Okay, so the big box to the right's a dead out. And we're gonna capitalize on it, provided it's in good shape. So, uh, let me get myself. Well, I want this to be, to be a good lesson, you know? Now, uh, unless you just want the nukes to run in nukes, some people do that. They will uh, run nuke size bees just for the fact that it's lighter box work. Uh, older beekeepers tend to do that. <laughs> I'm giving that some thought. But they fill up faster and trade offs again. Always trade offs. So, 
uh, back over to the big box. Big box. Notice. <laughs> Two or three times. Plenty of time. No rush. This is a pretty easy chore unless you run into something terrible bad. That's, uh, no. That's the bottom. The mite tray for the bottom board. All right. Now I'm hoping. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As with any dead outs, there's unwanted pests and bugs, and it depends. On what we got here just depends the point is I got equipment out here already you know okay so I'm gonna let's see I actually like this oh, let's see I'm gonna uh, you can see inside the edge of the screen is propolis Rather than wrestle with that right now, I'm going to set the side and I'm going to use a screen that we already have. I brought out, it's clean, so I don't have to necessarily clean it. And this box has old honey in it. Now, I don't, I don't want to harvest that. I want the comb. Okay, so I'm showing you what I do here. This is a dead out, should be. <laughs> Hope it is. And it's pretty hefty with honey. Yeah, it is. And I want the the uh, frames. This is old honey. I mean, is it, is it safe to eat? Yeah, it's safe to eat. I'm not going to spin it. It's just a personal decision. But what I do have to do, I've got a couple of boxes like this. <laughs> okay, we're just going to have some fun. Now, ne uh, nectar's running really heavy right now, so the bees probably aren't really super pumped about uh, stealing honey. See, it's partial. I don't know if you can see that. It's just partial. So what I'm going to do is just going to draw ants. Let's see if I can find any more of those. Partials. And there's roaches in it, and some rain. Okay, so I'm not terrible, pensive. Like, oh my God, I can't believe you. So, well, now it's old, old winter honey. It's probably some bitterweed stuff, and it's not full frames. It's partials. I'm more uh, comb sensitive right now. Okay. Therefore, let me get myself. <laughs> Therefore, hold on. Space management system. I want this box in the wagon that I will take down. I'm going to take the box of honey down to a pedestal that I have um, set out for them to just forage off the honey I'm thinking thinking and talking here and my neighbor my neighbor is out and anytime he is out he always I'm in the bees and he wants to come to the fence and talk I don't want to talk <laughs> I'm working on bees right now that's okay part of it I gotta be I gotta be a good PR manager, you know. Alright, here we go. 
Uh, let's see, this is uh, He's whistling for his dove. Frame of dead bees. And uh, we want those off. We're just gonna step back behind the hive and brush them off. Now, that's not a bad frame of comb, actually. I want the propolis off of here, off of the shoulders. <laughs> propolis off the shoulders and I don't want to keep the propolis I'll toss it to the side okay now <laughs> here comes a little hand work I'm just all I'm doing is prepping the box to go over just the condition condition of the of the comb It's been a while since I've done such handwork on the colonies. Set it to the side. It's uh, er, it was at 12 o'clock, I said. So that's a pretty cool time of day. 10 to 12. All the big girls are out. Okay, so come on, Kendall. Okay, so... Uh, not a terrible frame. I want the uh, all the propolis on the side. See the side bar? That all that is is a hindrance. Oh no 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 no! Now wanna make sure you know what I'm doing. I'm just taking the old box set up. The dead out and cleaning it up so that I can the equipment is already here you know what I'm saying oh boy already here that's not a terrible frame a lot of propolis in this group okay I want to get on to looking at some bees okay. I'm having withdrawals I think <laughs> oh, this guy, what is he doing, man? Whistling for his dog. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Kendall. Oh. <laughs> oh, this word. And here's a weird piece of comb right here i'm going to take away force them to draw it on down regular see if they'll do it i'll save that in the bucket <laughs> oh my gosh and a good these are all decent pieces of comb Okay, sorry. Knocking out roaches. Cleaning shoulders. Sideboards. Just housekeeping stuff. It's not the fun stuff, but it's gotta be done. Not terribly bad comb. Okay. Now, inside the box, roaches are out. Rabbits, scraping the rabbit clean. <laughs> oh boy, you want to be a beekeeper? Well, it's a handwork. Notice how my tools stay in my hands most of the time. Ah, yep. Now, not 
What a terrible bad piece of comb. The bees will clean out any dead bees as long as it's not too terrible nasty. And bees are good at removing dead bees. Okay, we you know what you got now. Okay. Not bad. Alright, so now watch your beekeeper's hand movements. Just brushing off the dead bees up here. And roaches are common, as weird as that is, that's common in there. Okay. Uh, probably the more important part of this is cleaning off the shoulders because they get really gummed up. It makes it really hard to uh, move the frames about. Sorry for my sniffles. The mics are sensitive, I know they are. I review all the films before I post, so I typically catch all my errors. Sniffles, I don't know how to prevent that. Don't want a cold. Okay, so, uh, hand movements, hand movements, hand movements. Do you see that spin? Did you catch that right there? Yeah. pretty good comb I'm not gonna give them all the comb because I need them to pull some more for me I want to be stingy with the comb yeah, yeah. you'll learn how to save steps in handwork your back your blower back will be the first thing to go that spin did you see that oh you gotta watch not bad not bad okay keep them coming keep them going the bees that is yeah uh, oh, boy, that one's tough. That one's tight in there. Ooh, water right in there. <laughs> okay. Well, this, I know this is like, this is not necessarily the funnest part of beekeeping. This is like muck in the barn. Okay, so here's a really good frame for her to go in and lay right away. And I want that in the middle when I set this all up. So, I have to think about what I'm gonna do. Okay, hang tough. Hang tough, hang tough. <laughs> you get to watch an old beekeeper. <laughs> flip-flop yeah. okay so oh notice I have a terrapin turtle I have a box turtle right down there box turtles my friend he's my friend <laughs> just to show you come here mr. turtle there's my friend who and he's peeing of course and he is my uh, house cleaner he will clean up dead bees for me on the you know under and around the hive and stuff Okay, so let's see if I can do this. <laughs> I want her to have, so I'm picking out the frames I want her to have, and I'm gonna introduce some new ones. Okay, let's see here. Let's go down this way. And I want her to have those. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, let's see what else. And I wanted to have that one. And that one's... I for sure wanted to have that one. Just separating out the frames. 
you're the beekeeper, so you get to determine, decide what they are going to start off with or get, etc., etc. Okay, so there's four, five. And uh, let's see here. I don't, want, I don't want those, and I don't want that one. And uh, uh, let's see here. If I have uh, five, let's go with that one. Let's go with this one. Yeah. <laughs> Just trying to pick out uniform ones that uh, would be good for her. And I will set them up accordingly. Okay, now. Mm, feeder tray is going to get flip-flopped out if I don't pay attention. Flop that. Now I'm after uh, the rabbit. Cleaning the rabbit. Noticed I hadn't touched the nuke really yet, just smoked them. Plenty of time. No rush, no hurry. Take the time with your bees. Okay, now. <laughs> okay, now. That leaves me the bottom board to clean. So, I got it. Oh, geez, oh, no. oh come on, Kendall. Find the edge. There it is. Okay, now. Now, box is on my boot. So it's just not in the mud. And uh, clean the bottom. It's a seasoned box. It already has bee smell in it, on it, which is good for me. Okay, I'm going to set it behind me <laughs> that leaves a bottom board just dead bees ha notice it's a thin bottom board inch and a half wide big thick bottom boards that are th like three inches they will promote colonies to go lay an egg through the screen or pass an egg through the screen and make a whole new house underneath you're giving them shelter too much too much shelter it's a common error you got to think it through a little bit bees ooh, are compartment thinkers If you give them another compartment, they're going to capitalize on it. Okay, now. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> little more smoke. Now comes graduation time. Watch. Bees are spot sensitive. It goes there, that goes there. I gently pick them up, slide them over. This spot is their home. That's their home. Spot sensitive. Great, Kendall, you're throwing it all over the place. <laughs> oh, boy, I tell you. The box will go right there. Well, that's good, Kendall. Oh, yeah. All right, nice day for this work. Square it up. Already the bees are coming back to this spot. Bees are spot sensitive. It's a principle. They didn't ask you. Oh man. <laughs> well, you know, grass cleaning as you go. Uh, 
graduation day. It's a pretty cool day. Like graduation day. <laughs> More smoke. More fuel. Oh look, yeah they are. <laughs> Open the lid a smidge. It'll smoke under the lid. No hurry. Here comes my squirt bottle. Frame grips. Hive tool. Uh, yeah. The frames I want her to have. Here they come. I've got five frames in here. There's one I want her to have. And I really want her to pull out. I'm giving them works. Giving them works. Girls, nectar's rolling like a river. You better start pulling out some wax. Giving them works. It's okay. Let's see, what am I doing? I'm gonna think about if I have, there if I have five, five over. I'm going to go to, uh, let's see. I want to do the lid off nice and easy. Ooh. Oh, nice, girls. You've had a month in the box. You know, how did we do? Not terrible bad. They're on the... Uh... Okay, so I'm looking from... Let's see if you can see here. Make sure I don't mess this up. Yeah, that didn't work. That's a good video. So from behind, one through five, they filled out, it looks like two through five, working on one, but I don't know what condition the frames are in. <laughs> I don't want the smoker really nearby. Now the girls are piled up at the porch. They're rather confused. So, nice and easy in. Oh, well. Yeah. Girls, oh, easy. They're nervous, I can tell. Oh, anyway. Okay, you're working on that. That's okay, you're working on it. I'm not, I'm not gonna hurt you. Yes, I talk to my bees. Just to calm down. Oh, okay. Pretty hard. Yeah, I really don't like this piece of comb they got. microphone the, the whiskers okay now I've got them off <laughs> now I think I'm okay I don't know well they don't like whiskers oh boy okay they didn't like that
Okay, whiskers. <sighs> Not the whiskers. Nice frame of brood. Easy down. Catching. We've had hatches. Which is very focused. You don't have to find the queen. There's the queen right there, but we're not gonna, she's nervous. Okay, sweetheart. I'm gonna put you. Queen in the middle. There's three, six, nine. Ten. Okay, here comes my space. Getting my space back. Space back. Spritz the bees really good. Screen. Lid. Kicked up in the back. No? Okay. Not done. I have a lid. I'm changing. Always issues cleaning this screen. Now, anytime you go away and come back, it's 
like starting over. And I don't like up in the back for vent we'll review here in a little bit bees to the front screen in the cart still not done oh the bees Give them their brick back. That's what they remember. Not, not really happy. They aren't. Frames that I'm not using. Well. I learned something today. Now, they have a brick. I don't want to give them their brick back. Make them think about house. House and home. this up here because it fits the bottom board down below I'm watching them on my microphone on my chest they're inspecting it I have uh, <laughs> I have a bee that is determined to uh, let me know she's not pleased. <sighs> Bees in the nuke. them down and I'm gonna shake them to the ground they'll get out up in front of the porch beekeepers away never really happy about that they aren't and uh, you know, but, uh, just settle them down here. <sighs> I'm going to give them a little bit. So I'm going to walk away. They may, uh, by walking away for a few minutes, makes them think, aha, we got you out of here. And they will refocus. So my thoughts and feelings. They were a little jumpy, jumpier than I thought they would be. Um, I'm, th I'm thinking sometimes, sometimes bees 
can be real sensitive to certain things and it's up to you to uh, to recognize that okay so how I'm about 25 yards away 30 yards away be still I'm not I'm not scared or nervous nothing like that I want to give them a chance to settle down I got to go write the date on the back of the box. I'm not worried. <laughs> I'm tired from feeling puny. Um, we um, shout out to Mr. Gene in Texas. Uh, hey, buddy, they don't like the the road wireless uh, whiskers. <laughs> no, without a doubt. Um, when you look down below your chin and you see a ball of bees rather than your whisker on your mic, you know you have a problem. <laughs> yeah, that's a first. <coughs> Excuse me. So, so now, I <laughs> so now I know they don't like the the whiskers. It's just it's just a wind noise dampening tool. It works nicely for reducing wind noise. It's not terribly windy today. Um, I will have to um, pay attention to these bees. That's a little bit more spicy and jumpy than I am used to or like. Or I mean, it's a, like the first group of the year I've worked with, so I don't know. Um, there's a trade-off here. Okay. So I'll share my thoughts. Let me first let me first write my date. Dater dater dater. Come on, Kendall. Usually they sit the comb really nice and that I think they saw those whiskers and they freaked out. Okay, 528. Here we go. So I'm writing down the date 528-21 R squared BGB. The date and then R squared BGB for Big Girl Box. And I moved them over. Still thinking. They, they didn't really like that. That's actually kind of abnormal. Usually, those are mostly nurse bees in there. Pulling some grass. And uh, this time of day, all the big girls are out. And, uh, somebody was home. Now they've all settled down. They're like, God, you freaked us out. Let's <laughs> just laugh. Uh, tra tra okay, let me, uh, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm gonna focus on my stuff, man. Talk and work. Okay, mean bees, uh, aggressive bees, uh, Randy bees, um, robust bees. I guess this is all subjective, you know, the descriptions we give them. And it could be up to you how you really want to describe that. I would say those are kind of Randy bees for today, maybe just their attitude. Like they saw that whisker and freaked out. My, where's my, um, hold on here. I'm sorry, this is very, very interesting to me. All the, all the traditional bee work is like, blah, ho, hum, that's what I've done a million times. If you can see me, right there is my mic. I had the whiskers and they jumped it. Boom, jumped it. <laughs> it didn't make me feel good. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, hold on. Just take it. What was that? What was that? This pulling grass. I just I think this is through. It. I just didn't like. They just didn't like that. They didn't like that mic or the the whiskers. Just have to laugh. Oh, they're just, they just got such a personality. They think they're so tough, boy. I hope you saw that. Little girls with a big heart. You know. <laughs> now, they've not been worked, see. So by me messing around here, it lets them know somebody is going to be coming around your place, girls, for the summertime. <laughs> I just have to laugh. I'm thinking this through here because I've got more to do. Now this box that I just pulled them from is a good box to set back out as a catch box. You know what I'm saying? It's got bee scent in it. And I do need to set up some more catch boxes. Thinking, thinking again. Mm -hmm. Hold on. <laughs> the bee work never ends, man. Okay, so I have... Now I've got... Let's see what I'm doing here. I'm forget. Hold on. Changing your view. Okay, so that was a transfer. And uh, when we do a transfer, we do get very tunnel visioned. Okay, so around we go. And what kind of um, caught me off guard is they, they jumped, they jumped the whiskers on the mic. <laughs> it's another bug <laughs> kill it <laughs> I don't know man I gotta look look at this it's just the whiskers and uh, I, don't, I see a bee leg in there I don't think they laid a stinger unless they got way down deep they instinctively burrow down and once the beekeeper took it off and took it away, they're like, okay, fine. Get it away. Get it out of here. It's fuzzy. They think it's another bug. So, now we know. <laughs> I'll just laugh. I don't think I'll do that again. <laughs> so I have these frames of comb. Excuse me, I'm gonna turn myself around. Oh, gosh. The unexpected. You can always expect the unexpected. <laughs> Just laugh. Now, I kind of want to protect these. I don't want uh, these getting damaged. And there's, uh, gosh, I got quite a few of them here. And they haven't been uh, sprayed with Centauri, so. Guess what? Uh, there's five. They're going to get sprayed. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I'm still not done. I 
I have to go, um, let's see, what am I going to do? I'm going to take that down. I'm going to take that down there. I'm taking, yeah. <laughs> He's just watching a beekeeper. This is, this is how this works. This is real stuff. You just figure, you got to figure this stuff out, man. So what I need to do is take this uh, medium box down and set out. And uh, let me, I'm going to show you how. Okay, so wa watch that yellow cart right there. Make sure it doesn't get away. And I've got to go get two queen excluders. It's okay. You can hear me talk. Okay, so the transfer pretty normal. I'm thankful that the dead out, the brood comb was still pretty good. The brood comb. Okay, let me go back to trade-offs. I was talking, stumbling and fumbling. Classification of attitude. You now I'm in the hut. I gotta find two queen excluders. Way back deep in the hut. <laughs> okay. Geppetto's workshop. Okay, see if it's still. There we go. Okay. Classification of uh, attitudes. Sometimes we have bees that are having a bad day. Like, you know, stuff's just not working right for them and they're just kind of pivish, you know. They're just in a bad mood. And you'll work them another day and they're like, I'll chill. Okay, well, I'll give them that. I'll give them that. And then there's times where you go work them and they're always like that. Okay, that's not good. Okay, so now I'm going to turn you, show you, let's see, uh, let's do this. Ba, 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 ba. Trying to give you multiple lessons in a lesson. Here we go. Ooh, fast move, sorry. Down we go. And watch this. <laughs> so we did a transfer. We used a uh, dead out equipment, which is sufficient. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, Kendall. Now, all right, any old box of honey or old box of, you know, stuff you want to get cleaned out, the bees are phenomenal cleaners. Put them to work. So here's a, an old box of honey. Now, on a queen excluder. How come on a queen excluder? So the coons can't dig down deep. Only the bees. And a queen excluder on top. Now I know you're going, he's going to give all that back to them. Is a, yes, because, because it's older honey that has a mixture of bitter weed and and I I'm not in the mood nor am I ready to spin anything and because it's much older it will have a mixture of bad bad bitter weed so it's not at this level of beekeeping it's not worth my time and effort to uh, chase that all out so I'm now I'm looking for bricks. It's not it's not really worth it. 
But what is worth it to me um, is the comb. Yeah, that's a big deal. So, so I'm going to have these girls see if over the month they will clean. But the problem is we're wet and they're after nectar. Okay, so hang tight. So my strategy is we always have a prevailing south wind and you're facing south right now. The bees are to the north of us. So I ought to expect these colonies to the north of us to come down and clean this box out for me in, in a month's time, maybe less, maybe less. But they, they are, I'm standing here and they are, oh, 50 yards away, that and more, which is fine. I don't want to set it down next to them open. Then we have robbing and it's a mess. That's sufficient. And I actually have another box to add to that for, for later. So it's kind of a temporary feeding station. Temporary. I'm taking taking some equipment out. Uh, so you, you know, you can watch me do my thing. And it's easy to sit in an armchair and kind of <laughs> armchair quarterback stuff. I know. I know. And I probably do the same thing with others. But when you get out here or in your apiary and you're doing this work, <laughs> you're going, what do I do now? <laughs> well, therein lies the question. You know, I don't know. It's all so unique and different problem solving. Uh, those bees, they didn't like, they didn't like that. See, they jump the whiskers and they go racing back to tell their sisters. And they sent to communicate, so everybody's pissed off now. It didn't take long, a few seconds. <laughs> okay, I think it's funny. I wasn't ready to look down below my chin and see a big old ball of bees. I wonder what that sounds like on the camera. That'd be cool. Review that. <laughs> just, I'm just screaming demons on my chest. Okay, I'm after this nuke. laugh <laughs> yeah, they're all chilled out <laughs> don't come around our house again oh my god okay <laughs> oh it's just funny you gotta laugh Yeah, this is all I want to do for today. <laughs> Just... Ooh. I'll spray him with Zentari. And... <laughs> okay. I think that's enough for today. <sighs> Just... Oh my God. You got to be kidding me. Well, let's just gotta go over here and look at them. <laughs> you got us so messed up. Oh, that's funny. Oh, it didn't work. Sorry. Okay. They're settling back down. It see, I put the brick back. And they of course they were in the nukes so they didn't have a sugar feeder. 
but I put the sugar feeder away from my walking path so when I walk by I can see the porch entrance which is okay they're okay I'll give them another month and put another box on them <coughs> excuse me excuse me Okay, so there we go. I'm going to review this one. <laughs> See how this turned out. They do not like whiskers on a microphone. Let me tell you that now. All right. <laughs> Hope you learned something. Check you later.